Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to lesson 71. Let's proceed with the rest of the chemical reaction on haloalkane. These three reactions we have learned previously. Number one is elimination. Number two is um, Greenard reagent. Number three is Woods reaction. These are the objectives of lesson 71. Being a polar molecule, the carbon bearing the halogen, which is the electrophilic side, is susceptible to nucleophilic attack. We have the nucleophilic substitution mechanism SN1 and 2 in the previous lesson 70. Today, we are going to learn elimination, preparation of Grignard reagent, and Wood's reaction. Right, let's look at elimination. When we eliminate bromine and hydrogen from a compound of haloalkane, we're going to get alkenes. The major product is determined by using sets of rule. Let's do example 7.10. Right, this is the reactant that has bromine. Bromine can be eliminated by taking its pair hydrogen on the left side or hydrogen on the right side from here. So let's take the hydrogen from the left side first. So we are going to have uh, one alkyl group over here and then two alkyl group and then the double bond will be uh, situated here and then we are going to have another one alkyl group over here that's why it is a major product now let's use um, the hydrogen from the right carbon okay so we are going to get uh, the double bond over here. Ah, so what happened is um, we're going to have one big, one big alkyl group over here, and bromine will take one of uh, the hydrogens from the right carbon. So it's going to become the minor product. The second question is a cyclopentane. Uh, it is going to use KOH now, ethanol and reflux. And then bromine will take the hydrogen from here. So the double bond is going to form here. And the second one is bromine is going to take one hydrogen from this methyl group and therefore the double bond is going to be formed here. So here is how you do elimination on haloalkane. Okay, now it's time for us to learn about Grignard reagent. Grignard reagents are called organometallic compounds because they contain carbon metal bond. They are called organo magnesium halides. Magnesium is a metal, remember? And it has empirical formula RMGX. Grignard agents comes from the reaction of haloalkanes with magnesium metal. This reaction is carried out in an ether solvent. Who discovered this compound? Yes, his name is Grignard. Victor Grignard found that if we have ether, magnesium reacts with alkaline aryl halides at room temperature, forming organomagnesium compounds. These compounds react with most functional groups in a synthetically useful way. Meaning that 
not only Grignard reagent can form alkane, as we have learned in Chapter 5, it also can form primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol together with carboxylic acid. Grignard reagent indeed is a useful compound. Because of that, Grignard was awarded Nobel Prize in 1912. Let's look at how we synthesize Grignard reagent. Firstly, we need a haloalkene. We need magnesium in the presence of ether. Then we are going to get an alkyl magnesium halide. Example 7.11 shows that bromopropane with magnesium and ether will form propyl magnesium bromide and chlorocyclohexane together with magnesium and ether will form cyclohexyl magnesium chloride. Now let's open page 265 and fill in the mind map for the synthesis of alkanes, the first box, alcohol, the middle three box, and carboxylic acid, the last box, from Grignard reagent. So as you can see, the reagent to produce alkane would be H2OH+. The reagent to produce primary alcohol would be uh, methanol. The reagent to produce secondary alcohol would be an aldehyde. To produce tertiary alcohol, we need a ketone. And finally, in order to produce carboxylic acid from Grignard region, we are going to be needing just um, carbo carbon dioxide. Going back to page 260, let's do example 7.12, question number 1. This is a propyl magnesium bromide. So we're going to uh, react this green art reagent with H2O and H+, and we're going to get an alkane propane. Question number two, this is a cyclohexane with one carbon outside attached to magnesium chloride. We are going to get a methyl cyclohexane. And finally, number three, this is an isopropyl magnesium bromide. We are going to produce a propane as well. The product is the same with number one, but here, as you can see, the difference is magnesium bromide is attached to secondary carbon, different from the first one, primary. Green art reagent reacts with methanol. Where is methanol? This is methanol. And then it will use H2O and H+, means it is undergoing hydrolysis. It will produce primary alcohol. So as you can see here, one methyl is coming from the green art reagent. Okay, this is the methyl group. And then the 2H is coming from the methanol over here. This is the 2H. And then the carbonyl uh, group of methanol is going to be reduced. It will become OH or hydroxy group. We are producing ethanol as the product for the reaction between um, methyl magnesium bromide and methanol for question number one right for question number two we have a cyclohexyl magnesium bromide we are going to take the cyclohexyl 
here and then we're going to attach the carbon from carbonyl directly to the cyclohexyl and then we're going to attach the two H's and the oxidized carbonyl which is the hydroxy group. So we're going to get this product for question number two. Now what happens if we replace methanol with other aldehydes? It can be ethanol, it can be uh, propanol, butanol. So what we're going to have here are two alkyl groups. One is ethyl coming from green region. So we attach it here. And then another alkyl, which is a methyl now, will be attached here directly to the carbonyl carbon. So this carbonyl group is going to be reduced to become um, a hydroxy group and then this hydrogen is still attached to the carbonyl carbon. So basically we are actually producing secondary alcohol. The second question, we are using a cyclic compound. This is a cyclohexyl attached to the carbon, which also attached to one methyl, one hydrogen, and a hydroxy group. This is another secondary alcohol. Example 7.15. Let's say we don't have methanol, we don't have aldehyde. What we have is ketone. Ah, the reagent now is a propanone. We are undergoing hydrolysis also. The green reagent is ethyl magnesium bromide. So 1R, which is an ethyl, is going to be attached here. 2 methyl group coming from propanol is going to be attached here and here. The carbonyl is going to be transformed into hydroxy group. So we are actually producing a tertiary alcohol. Second example, cyclohexyl is the first R. Two methyl are both attached to the carbon that is attached to the hydroxy compound coming from the carbonyl compound. So basically, again, this is our tertiary alcohol. Last one for green region. Uh, instead of using carbonyl compound, now we are using carbon dioxide. A such a simple reagent. When we use carbon dioxide as reagent, we are going to transform this green reagent into a carboxylic acid. Note that the carbon inside the carbon dioxide is going to be inserted or included into the reactant. The original compound here has 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the part where we have the green reagent, the R from the green reagent. And then C double bond O is attached here. And one of the double bond here is becoming a hydroxy or a part of the carboxyl group. So basically, we are having here a carboxylic acid with the addition of one carbon from carbon dioxide. Now, the second example is on a cyclic compound. This is an R from a green region, so we put it here. And then carbon dioxide will transform into a carboxyl group. So this is basically a cyclohexane 
carboxylic acid. That's the IUPAC name for the product of question two. So the last but not least, Wood's reaction we have learned in chapter five in order to produce alkene. These are the reaction that is used to synthesize a longer alkene coming from the reactant haloalkane. So if we have one reactant, we're going to have one product. But if we have two haloalkane or two reactants, we're going to have um, uh, mixtures of alkene that is going to be produced. Let's do example 7.17. This is a very simple reaction involving one reactant, which is a bromoethane. It is going to form RR, so it's a butane. And two reactant is a bromoethane and a bromomethane. So we are going to get mixtures of propane, ethane, and butane. Uh, please refer to chapter 5 for more complicated examples because this is very simple. This is just like a quick revision on Wood's reaction. Please do practice 7.3. You have to name compound C and then determine compound A from C. Then you have to uh, develop or deduce B, D, E, F, G, H, I, J from all the information given in this chapter. Huh, we have finished chapter 7. Thank you very much for watching and please do the tutorial questions at the back of chapter 7. Hello, Alkane. I will see you again soon. Bye. Assalamualaikum.